A lot of students preparing for First Reconciliation, First Holy Communion year. This is a big year, and one of the things you'll be doing throughout the year is making a keepsake book. Uh, it'll have something that you'll, you'll keep, keep with you for the rest of your life, as well as kind of it'll help reinforce uh, some of the things you're going to be learning this year. So in this manila folder you received, uh, it was uh, and your parents picked up your books and such, inside of it there were about almost 30 pages of cardstock, and on them, they have no, the first page doesn't have a number, but the rest of them do are numbered, 1 through 28. Just keep them in that order. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be making a number of videos uh, of going through these, uh, and this part of this is kind of art coloring, uh, crafts, and then also just doing just kind of answers and stuff uh, we'll be going through. Uh, we're going to go through the first five pages today, and these first five pages uh, have where you're going to need you're going to need pictures. All right, so your parents are going to help you try to find pictures uh, of you. So page one uh, has uh, it asks for a picture of you, uh, so you give a picture of you. So. Here's, I'll put it down here. So here's a picture. I got my picture. I pasted in, and then I wrote my name in, and uh, I will make sure to color this. I'm going to be making one as we're going through this. Uh, so this that's what I looked like when I was eight years old, uh, preparing for my first uh, communion. So page one, next page, your family. I'll put a picture of your family, and I left enough room. Hopefully, to, you can lay it either way. If uh, uh, and then you just list your your family. So you know. Uh, my mom, dad, Teresa, me, and most of my siblings all written that are in the picture there. So, And there's me over there. That was uh, right around the same time I received First Communion, that spring uh, of, uh, of that year. So, um, And I'll, you, know, you can color, color this in, color the heart. Maybe uh, put some, some activities and stuff you like to do with your family on there. Um, I'll, I'll color it in too, and uh, I'll sh we'll share later. Um, the next page, uh, Baptism. I mean, happy birthday. Never mind. Happy birthday. On your birthday, we celebrate your life. Uh, so put your birthday down. Maybe find a picture. You can color the cake. Maybe even write, draw some of the presents you received or gifts you received uh, on your birthday. Uh, and then the last one with the picture is your baptism. So hopefully you can find a, a, bapt a picture of your baptism or something kind of near where your parents are holding you when you're... Uh, around the time of your baptism, uh, and so happy baptism, uh, and I, you're able to dig up your your parents helped to find the day that you were baptized. That's even great. Um, I'm using a, a dark marker so you can see it, but you don't have to. You, you can use uh, a pencil or, or a pen or a crayon if you want to write in. You don't have to use a, uh, a marker if you don't want to. Um, so, and then the next page we'll do in a moment. So those are the four pages. These first four kind of okay. It's we're going to be preparing for First Reconciliation. We'll learn more about what the stole means. And then the Eucharist, Holy Communion, the host and the chalice, Jesus' body and blood. We'll be learning more about that. Uh, so it's at you in front. And then your family, the importance of we don't come into, into the world all alone. We come into existence with other people in relationship, in relationship to other people. So our family, the importance of relationships. Uh, and we celebrate your your birthday celebrated, right? Because we're, we're glad that you exist, that you have life, and we celebrate that. Now, in a spiritual, your spiritual birthday uh, is your baptism. It's happy baptism. At baptism, we celebrate your new life uh, into God's family. Uh, that should be family there. I must have uh, missed family. Uh, you can write family in. Edition, next edition will have family uh, in the typesetting. Um I don't know how that got missed, uh, uh, but you're baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So we'll learn. We'll be learning us kind of baptism, uh, learning about baptism because that's the foundation to receive the other sacraments. So really, this uh, kind of we begin. We thank God for the gift of our family, our life, uh, our baptism. So this is just a fun thing to do and so you can work on that now uh, you can pause it if, if you want to just work on the pictures or you can uh, I'm going to do page five now uh, and we'll do that one together so if you guys want to do page five right now if we can otherwise pause it and when you're done with the pictures and everything uh, you can go to page five so I'm going to go right into page five where my dark 
thing. Okay, so gifts. So you, like your birthday, we receive many gifts. Uh, and in our life, we will receive many gifts. So uh, we're going to be going through uh, in this page. And we just, previous pages were your birthday, your baptism, your family's a gift, you're a gift. Uh, and so we're going to list what some of those gifts are. We receive many gifts. So gifts your parents and family give you. So i got a word bank down here. So maybe you want to pause this and see if you can, uh, uh, if, if, you, if you and your, your parents can help you find what are the four down here that your family uh, gives you. All right. So you can pause it now, otherwise I'm going to start filling them in. So let's see here. Your family gives you oh, clothing. Yes. Clothing. Let's see. Love. Yep, my family gives me love. Aliens. No, no, my family doesn't give me aliens. No. Uh, gifts of the Holy Spirit. No, that's not. Uh, shelter. I cover across these out as we're going through them here. I got love, shelter, food, definitely food. Okay. And then tax. No, no, taxes. My family doesn't give me taxes. Um, all right, so those are the gifts uh, my parents gave, my family gave me, and I'm sure your family gives you as well. The basic needs that we, uh, gifts that we receive. Now, gifts God gives you in baptism. Oh, so there's still some left in there. So, if you want to try try it on your own or with your your mom or your dad, go through these and see if you can fill in the four with uh, what's in the word bank. Otherwise, I'm going to start going through them here. So let's see here. Grace. Yes, we're going to learn about grace. God's gift of grace. His gift of his share in his divine life. Okay, so grace, faith, and hope. Yes, God gives us uh, faith and hope. Virtues that we receive at baptism, we're able to believe in God and to hope in Him. The free gifts. Uh, aliens, no, God doesn't give us aliens or taxes. He gives us gifts of the Holy Spirit, though, at your baptism. And you get kind of you get increased at confirmation, but gifts of the Holy Spirit. So, wow, there's a lot of gifts that God... God gives us. Okay, so we got that one done. Got this one. Okay, God. Okay, I think of taxes to aliens. There's still one more. Which one does he give? So there's one of them that was crossed out. That also applies here very, very importantly. Yeah, it's very, very, uh, and uh, it's, it's love. So love. Love. All right. So. These are spiritual gifts, and your parents give these gifts. But love is a uh, has a spiritual aspect, even that we receive from our parents. But there's divine love that God gives us, kind of raises our love. So those are the first five pages of your uh, your book here, uh, and just look out for the next video, and we'll go through five more pages together. We you guys prepare for your, your first reconciliation and first holy communion.